dude there. Welcome everyone to Ferrophobe Campaign 2, episode 20. My name is Sam Lander, I am your GM, and I have some players. My name is Zura, playing Lumi, the Circle of Stars Druid. My name is Valric, I play Elros, the Fighter. Hi, I'm Suda, playing the stabbiest, happiest rogue ever. I am Sadie, playing Zari, the Storm Herald Barbarian and Ancient Oaths Paladin. I'm Inter, I'm playing Greer the Monk. And I'm Ashes, playing Eberkeet, the Divination Wizard. So... After murdering a bunch of frogs and running into their old friend along the way, um, the players, uh, or the characters, decide to go out and investigate uh, something from the town's distant past. Uh, a vague memory reminded to the older folks that came along with them by poems that have been located now in two places around town. Um Upon finding this relatively well-intact uh, mansion about a day outside of town, passing through the anti-life field that's tuned to protect this place from pests, uh, the players walk up to the front door, throw the front door open, and upon hearing the sound, somebody from inside asked them who the heck they were. So, that is where we'll start this week. Uh, you see... Uh, person maybe a little older than you maybe a little younger than you uh got some leather armor on um just standing in a doorway hello sir uh we are uh the uh heroes the lights of miva uh from uh from the adventurers guild in the town of miva and uh we have come seeking knowledge. <clears throat> Heroes of Lights of Miva, you say. Um, can I have a... Anybody can see him. Uh, can I have an insight check, please? Per uh, perception. Actually, perception would be better. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Zari sees nothing. Zari sees nothing. I'll give I'll give Ibrakit the the insight instead. Um. So with the exception of Zari, you all see this guy make a a hand motion, uh, and then he steps back uh, out of the doorway and says, "Ah, all right, come on in." Uh, and do 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 do. Another person heads. Well, oh, I don't. Okay, why did you do that? There, haha. -ha. Heads off this way. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on in, let's talk. Step. All right. I don't like I nudge Zare before we go off. He was motioning to something or someone in there. Be careful. Well, um, as I fall and step behind Zari, cautious but prepared. All right. You. Yep. After you, new guy. <laughs> okay. Upon entering this room, you see a a table. Um. It's fairly, this place is fairly bare, uh, not a whole lot of furniture, but table with four settings. Each of the set, each, each of the table settings <coughs> has a dice cup uh, face down, like closed on the table. Um, uh, other than that, uh, you guys can see generally what you're seeing here um, to the... Okay, that's closed. That's right. Okay, yep. So, um, there's an there's an open room. There's an open room beyond down to the south. Got some tile flooring. This this place is fairly well appointed with wood flooring, 
um, old, older, like not amazing upkeep, but fairly well maintained, like fairly well, the wooden floor isn't falling apart. It could use a waxing. It could use a, it could use a sanding and a waxing. Yes. Is this going up or down? Is what going up or down? Uh, it's it's going up, but just a or no, it's yeah, it's going up, but just a couple steps. Okay. Okay. I have stepped into the room and see three people. Correct. So. And and one of them doesn't touch you, but kind of motions you further into the room, Zari. gets out of yeah falls along behind you kind of guiding you further in the lights of the, <coughs> the lights of Miva you say so what brings you to here uh we were told uh uh we are seeking information for a quest and we were told that uh this uh this manor may may hold the information we seek, uh, but we were not expecting it uh, to. Uh, we were not expecting it to be inhabited. Uh, the townsfolk were convinced that um, that uh, <clears throat> uh, no one occupied this building anymore. Uh ah oh, yeah well. <clears throat> what with what with Miva being reestablished, uh, this place was open, and so people decided to uh, come out here and join. Um, do 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 do. Uh, Upon hearing that, do I recognize any of their faces? You have, have not recognized any of their faces. Do they all wear the same clothing, or? Um, not necessarily it's all it's like like leather armor utilitarian weapons um they're all they're all armored half weapons um that sort of thing oh uh, so he moves he moves out into this uh, so who's so who are you two why are you hanging out so far back eb i don't like the smell of today Guy comes out with a plate of food from what looks like to be an obvious kitchen area. It's meat. Sets it down. Move, moves one of the dice cups uh, uh, out of the way. Sets it down on the table. I'm just always nervous meeting new people. Uh, it's slash W to whisper, right? Oh. Yeah. Well, correct. Yeah. All right. Um, come on in. Join us. Uh, it's a, it's wait. No, yeah. It's about supper time. Have some food with us. Is there a reason your compatriot is is trying to hide from from us? And I point at the th the thing I see. This guy comes around the corner. I wasn't hiding. I was just uh, coming to meet you. <clears throat> so uh, we came with the caravan, uh, and uh, I don't believe we remember any of your faces. So how did you make the journey here from Haifa? Uh, it's a it's a bit of a long walk. One of them says, "Not not uh, not terribly hard though." Uh, everybody in this room, could I have you give me a intelligence roll, please? Uh, this is just a roll, not a saving. Throw, not a saving right? throw. Yeah, I okay. still don't trust it. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Zari, you recognize this person as one of the people from the caravan who disappeared. Yeah, we had five people missing. Mm hmm. But I do recognize your face, and I pointed him. You ca <clears throat> you came with us, but you left with us at Haifa, but you did not make it to Miva with us. You and four of your friends. And I see a lot more than four friends here. I guess you have me. At that point, uh, we have some people leaping to action. Uh, let's see. Give me... Okay, well, hold on. We're going to do a couple things here. Uh, we're going to uh, remove all turns from this. Clear. All right. So I would like, first things first, everybody to roll initiative, please. Uh, here we yeah. go. Initiate... I'm not last. <laughs> I'm not first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then this guy. And that. All right. And then I'm not last. Descending. All right, so... Now that we have that, I would like everybody to give me a reflex save, please. Because these guys are trying to get the jump on you. Of course, Risha womp, womp. succeeded. Oh, wait. I get advantage because uh, danger sense. Oh, yep. That's a freaking nat 20. Nat 20 as well. Oh, jeez. All right. So, uh, Risha, Cryor... Elros and Zari are not surprised, so they get to act on round one. Uh, everybody else, however, is surprised, and so gets to act on round two. Um, so, they are motioning to tackle people, uh, Elros. As we move on past Lumi, who did not make the save, but Elros did. They're motioning to tackle? Yes. Yes. They look like like the two of them that are here are look like they're gonna try to tackle Risha and Ibrakeet. Like they're gonna try to duck past you and 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 get to them. Uh, Oopsie, that's not right. So they're trying to duck past me. I'm just uh, I'm new to this character still. I'm looking at my options. <laughs> yep. No, you're fine. I am going to, since they're not pulling out weapons, I'm not going to pull out a weapon. Okay. So I'm just going to, uh, this guy right here next to me, I'm yep. going to go ahead and hit him. Okay, go for it. That will hit. For seven damage. Uh, I would also like to add a superiority die to that. Well, yeah. Or a trip. Okay. <laughs> what do I need to roll? Uh, I need to roll a... I think it's a 1d8. And then I have to make a save versus tripping, right? Yes. It's a DC 16. Strength save, I save, so I do not fall down. Okay. Uh, on failure, you knock the... Why does it say on failure, you knock the, pro the target prone? I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, I think it's I'm... on their failure. Right. Yeah. Yes. On their failure, they fall prone. Okay. Uh, and I'll go ahead and take another swing at him. Uh, Multi-attack. I missed. 15 will hit. Never... And you punch this guy, two swift, twist, two swift blows to the face, and down he goes, bleeding from the nose. I'm just going to reposition myself there. After okay. That. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, all right, is that it? That would be all. All right, Zara, you're up. Uh, so Zari pulls out, uh, her maul and is like, I don't want to hurt you guys. We can still talk through this. <laughs> and <coughs> steps around the table. Okay. And takes a swing at this guy. Okay. <clears throat> Go for it. That will hit. And one quick thump to the chest, and down he goes. Okay. Uh, yes, and I am going to initiate rage with that, so that was with rage damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me... Angry Zari is angry. Very angry. I just wanted a nice chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Storm Aura is going to zap uh, this guy. The guy next to the kitchen. This guy? Yep. Okay. So, uh, reflex save? Yes. DC 14. Dexterity save. A 9. So failure. He takes 5 damage. He does take 5 damage. And that my turn. Okay. So it's these guys' turn. All right. So he sees you raging. Um, so, this guy is going to attempt to tackle Lumi. Um, uh, does anybody know the grapple rules off the top of their head? Because I do not, but they're going to try to try grapple you, Lumi. It is their strength versus the target's either strength or dexterity. Okay, so 13 versus Lumi. <laughs> 12. So, he grabs a hold of you, Lumi. You are grappled. Uh, thank you, Enter. So, Enter, Cryor, another guy is going to come up, uh, and attempt to grapple you. So, uh, you need to beat a 10. Okay. 17. Yep. With a net one? Oh, it's the net one on the plus. Plus, yep. All right, so that's that. So let's see. It it would be a twelve if I rolled Five, two 10, natural ones. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Uh, to do to do to do. Twenty-five, twenty-five. One, two, three. All right, so that is their turn. Uh, Risha, did you? No, you did not. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Yes, yes, you I did. did. I got the nat 20. That's right. You did get a nat 20. Oh. And I think this guy next to Elros deserves a mind sliver. Oh, geez. DC 13 intelligence save. And intelligence isn't what they're good at. <laughs> Obviously, since they started this fight. Uh, five. So, failure. So, it takes nine damage. Affirmative. There's, there's more to mind sliver than just the damage, isn't there? I thought there was. Uh, it... Yeah... And subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw it makes before the end of your next turn. There you go. Yep. And who got the mind sliver? This guy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, Eberkeet, I don't think you succeeded with your reflex save to get started. Uh, correct. So, Cryor, you're up. I will attack the one who tried to grapple me. A nine will miss. Then I'll do it again. <laughs> 27 will hit. That is 11 damage. Okay. 
He is 11 Then I'll move one step behind. And I'm going to use my Fury of Blows on that dude. Okay. For 10 damage. Okay. And that one will miss. Mm-hmm, it will. But I'm going to use a key point for that. Because it's for blows, I have to. Right. And he cannot take a reaction until my next turn. It's anybody you hit, right? Uh, no, it needs to hit by the Fury of Blows. Oh, well, then this guy would have had a reaction to hit you when you stepped away from him. No, because if I attacked you, you cannot, even if I fail, you cannot oh. have opportunity attacks. But this guy counts for everybody. everything. Got it. I'll move up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm not going to stand in the way of other people. Oh, wait. People can move through me, right? Yes, they can. Yeah, okay. Then I'll stand there. So it's like a lock. All right. Yeah. After Cryor, it's my turn. To do, to do. Uh, okay. Uh. No, stop being dumb. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20... 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's getting crowded, isn't it? 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um. So, if you're grappled, do do attacks have uh, advantage on you, or do you have to be more than grappled? You have to be knocked prone. Uh, you can uh okay. use your action to push him prone. Uh, speed becomes zero. I think they need to restrain one to get uh, uh, advantages applied on attacks. So, do, 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 do. why do I do this to myself? So your speed becomes zero. Yep. Uh, and I believe new rules are they can make another strength check to restrain you are we doing the new playtest rules no i think that's in in 5e just after no i put the i put the yeah. full grapple rules in the in the discord yeah, See, yeah benefit both. from the bonus to speed condition is condition also ends effect from this creature from the do you know in the core player's handbook that you can if you have uh you can use your action to then knock that creature prone grappling it's up to the dm to decide but you can uh use your attack action to a... grapple and then use your uh if you have a uh second attack you can attempt to knock them prone right that's just in. a different action you can just attempt to knock a creature prone instead of attacking at any point whether they're grappled or not right mm -hmm. The grapple of feet allows uh, an More. attack to re to pin and restrain a creature. Got it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm missing. All right. Well, they don't have grappler feet. Um, but we're gonna have him aid this guy, and this guy is going to attack you, Lumi. Uh, so it will have an advantage. Uh, that. Uh, twenty to hit you, Lumi. A 20 will hit. Two slashing damage. All right, and then we'll have this guy aiding this guy and going to attack Cryor. So advantage again. Uh, 15 to hit Cryor. Nope. All right, so then we have 
won two crossbows at Cryor. Uh, 14 and 10. I'm assuming uh, those are all misses, also misses. Yes. No, I'm not going to return it. Fair enough. All right, so then this guy's going to move. Oh, it needs to hit me, actually. Yes. Move here, move here. Uh, he, he saw his friend go down a couple punches, so he's going to... Uh, he got mind slivered by Risha. Risha, you're getting a scimitar to the gut. Nine to hit you. Nine misses, but it would be a disadvantage for the flip. Fair enough. He did, did disadvantage, didn't miss you. All right. Lumi, you are up and are grappled. Grappled? You didn't attack. So when the first guy came up, tried uh, j jumped on me to keep me in place. Yep. Oh. And he's gonna suffer the consequences for that. I mean, I'm assuming. Him I and that. him and the guy that actually swung <coughs> at me. Uh, okay. Third level hold person. Okay. Uh, what do they need to save? DC 16 wisdom saving throw. So the guy who swung at you passed. And the guy who has you grappled failed so this guy is held yep that means i just walk off <laughs> um i mean yeah he, he he no longer has you grappled uh, i'll he... take any and all opportunity attacks that that come my way okay well you're gonna get one two three four Four, five yeah. of them. That whole person couldn't make an attunity attack. Yeah, no, but he, he's also held. But one, yeah. two, three, four, five. Holy moly. So one, 21 hits. Yes. Five damage. 22 hits. Five damage. Twenty-two hits. Three damage. Twenty-three is a crit. Eight damage. And whole potion that drops. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that crit a natural seven. So, that's a so that won't together. fail. So take give get back eight damage. And your whole person still works. Yep. And then this guy has also a scimitar attack. Uh, nine. I'm showing yep. Lumi to watch their neck. So that they dodge at just the right moment. Because <sighs> I foresaw this coming. Indeed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, is that it for Lumi? That was it for Lumi. Elros, you're up. Real quick, um, Elros, go help the others. I've got this. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, question: I'm, Do you guys do uh, free actions for drawing and stowing, like one free action a turn? It's part of like a movement or something. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and draw my longsword then. Mm-hmm. Uh, since I heard them using weapons, I'm just going to be like, okay, well, I guess the show's on. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to take one hit at this guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, Hits. Down. Uh, and then I am going to move uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... I don't want to necessarily block the doorway, so I'm going to stand right here. Okay. Uh, you cannot block us, Ross. Yep. Friendlies can pass through each other's spaces. Yeah, yeah but I swap... would be... Oh, no. Swapping is not a thing. <laughs> no, but Unless you to... use bait and switch. Yeah. Uh, Battlemaster move movement. <laughs> but, yeah. 
sadly I don't have that one. Uh, I got 10 more feet of movement if I was to go here. So you could would it be here. possible for me to get here? Yep. Okay. I'll go here and I'll use my second attack on this guy. Go for it. Uh, 18 will hit. 16 will take him down. And that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Let's see. Um, next up, your Zara, you're up. Yay, swinging at the guy right in front of me. Uh-huh. 23 will hit. Oof. Snake eyes. Ouch. Uh, he takes a big hit, but is still, still standing. still standing? Yep. Okay, he may he makes deck save. Okay. Dexterity of four. Full damage three. Just enough to as he falls over. Just you all can stop any time now. Perfect. Oh, Elros, there, there's one of the guys in that room that's suspiciously still. Mm -hmm. Almost like he can't move. Suspiciously still, got it. <laughs> All right, uh, movement, Zari. Uh, I guess I can step over to here now. Yep. Okay, that's what I do. All right. End of the turn, you can save, right? For hold. Serter. Yeah, I clicking. Uh... At the end of each its turns, the target can make another wisdom saving throw and a success this battle ends on the target. Alright, so hmm. So if it succeeds, that's all it can do. So he's she's gonna step there. Oh well. How do you send it back a layer? Layer to back. Haha! -ha! So he steps over and around people. Um, hmm. No, Zari looks super juicy target. Right there. And so... Zari is super angry target. Super angry target. So we have... Uh, attack the first on Zari. Nine to hit. No. Attack the second on Zari. 23 to hit. Yes. Taking eight damage from that. So have to four... Then a dagger comes in from that guy. 21 to hit? Yes. Four to have two. Um, the guy here, also having a scimitar and a dagger, has... Nope, not that. Taha. ha This. 16 to hit. Yes. Five damage. Have <clears throat> two. 13? No. Then 23? Yes. So five more have two again. And this guy's going to try to make his intelligence save, was it? Or wisdom? Wisdom. Wisdom. 15? No. Still held. That was th their turn. Rishi, you're up. Uh, why does nobody listen and give me the kills I'm so righteously deserved? <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair, Ibuki. It's not fair. <clears throat> and the guy right in front of Creedor is going to get to Elder's Blast. Okay. 12 will miss. No! Do it again. 7 will Holy. also miss. That's what I get for being flustered over losing a kill. Cryar, uh, uh, Elder's Blast hits the ground beneath your feet and the seat and the 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 the, the roof over your head. I uh, jump out of the way. <laughs> <clears throat> Bonus action, Risha. Oh, not this time. Okay, here we keep. Yeah. Okay. Well. I am behind the times. Um, Fireball right about here. 
I don't have a fireball. Aw, oh, that's still fun. You can blow up all of your friends. Sorry, we'll save. <laughs> it's such a well-rounded spell. Only big area. My only area attacks are Flaming Sphere and Thunder Wave. And nice. Flaming Sphere is not really an area. It just, no, just moves. It well, it also it also damages everything adjacent to it. True. But um, Thunder Wave would be to nice. do Thunder Wave. I need to get up there in the middle of them. You do. Oh. And you're going to have trouble doing that and not hitting friends. Unless you have precise... What is it? There's a, there's a thing... Spell, yeah, but that's that's a, only I believe it's a sorcerer e metamagic. I believe you're correct. It's it's a sorcerer metamagic and it's evocation wizard. Ah. Uh, so, okay. I can't quite see what all's going on in there. It's a real mess. But I am going to put. Let's see, can you move, please? Move, please. Why can't I move this after I've placed it? Sorry, I had to let my cat out. What was what was the spell? Uh, it's gonna be sleep, but I can't move this this uh, template after I've after I've placed it. I got Just it. Just walls. I was gonna move it a little further south. A little further like south. So south. Miss yeah. Cryor, right there. Uh, no, with Cryor being in the very north of it. Cryor being in the very north of it. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um. All right. So that is going to be a level two sleep spell. Okay. So roll your hit dice. Uh, oh, that doesn't automatically do it. Okay. Um, Seventy-eight. So that's that's five. So that's seventy-eight. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roll. Ugh. Wow. Ugh. Really? Wow. Really? That was terrible. That was. That is each creature oh, affected by the spell it falls unconscious until the spell ends. The Zebra takes damage. Okay, so starting with the keep... lowest HP mm -hmm. uh, will be... I'm going to... I know who it's affecting, so it's going to be... Uh, this guy is going to be I used my inspiration to help Zebra keep re-roll that. How are, you, um, how are you using your inspiration to help Zebra keep re-roll that? Let me... I have an inspiration, but I thought that was only usable on D20s. It is, like but I, I, I want to know. I want to, I want to be sold on this. <laughs> Calling on the power of the Winter Queen? <laughs> just, just giving your fey power into my spell. I'm just giving Ibriki a little hype. Be like, there's a lot of guys in there. There's a lot of really weird-looking guys in there. You can do this, Ibriki. Put them all to sleep. That's more stuff for me to steal, Ibriki. I like stealing stuff off of sleeping people. Give me a charisma roll at disadvantage, Suda. 19, good enough. Roll it again. All right. Spend your, spend your inspiration, Suda. Yes. Oh, that's better. That is much better. All right, and they don't even get a save. They just it just knocks people out. Nope. Yeah. Starting with the lowest. So. So number two, sleep. Uh, next nearest one is gonna be number three. So three, three of the guys fall asleep. Thump thump thump. Yeah, thirty-four is way better. Hmm. Would 15 have gotten anyone? Would have gotten one. One. Okay, three is better than one. Yes. All right, so that's my turn. Okay. I Cryor, you're I said up. at the end of last session that my mage armor is already up when we go into the mansion. Yes, you did. Okay. I'm going to hit the one in front of me. Go for it. He had misses. Then I'll move five. And we'll 
five feet to hit the other one. Okay. Also misses. Hmm. I'll do a yeah, flood roof blows again. Okay. Back to that one again. Okay, go for it. Holy moly. Nope, that also misses. Back to that one again. Go for it. That one also misses. I'll go into corner here. <laughs> <laughs> impressive, impressive uh, 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 array of strikes hit the guy's armors and does basically nothing to them. All right. Um, these guys turn. All right. So this guy's going to step forward, use his action to wake this guy up. This guy's going to step forward and use his action to swing at Zari. Schematar. Uh, 20 to hit Zari. Yes. Six, have to three because of, because of that. And that is their turn. Uh, I could really use a cantrip right now. <laughs> Lumi, you're up. How's Zari looking? Uh, let's see. I am still... I think I'm uh, winded. Above half? Not... Yeah. So... Winded, bloodied, critical. Right. So winded to be above, uh, below three quarters, above half. Bloodied to be below half, and then critical is below quarter. Yeah. Maybe just <sighs> above winded. But yeah, I'm doing good. Sounds like like I can leave you be for at least one more round. Mm -hmm. And remember, I have self heal now. Yeah, so uh, just uh, produce flame fling at the guy between me and Zari. Okay. Twenty one will hit. He is sevened. So his his armor like lights for a moment and then he pats it out. Movement or bonus action? Not yet. I'm oh. fine where I am. All right, Elros, you're up. All right. I'm going to start hitting these down targets here that are asleep and held. Okay, well, uh, so this guy is held. You have advantage, and these two guys are asleep, so you also have advantage. Okay. Is there a special thing to roll advantage? Uh, in... Hold the shift button down. Uh, and, or is it control? It's control is shift disadvantage. Shift, shift for disadvantage. plus control for negative. Yep. Okay. Thank you. I was wondering about that. 27 will hit. Which one was you attacking first? I'll do this guy first. To the one okay. below me. Uh, 16 and down he goes. So he goes from asleep to not a, uh, a lot. Well, to bleeding heavily. 24 will hit. And for this guy? Yep. And down he goes. Uh, then I'm going to action surge for two more. Go for it. The other guy that's held? Yep. He, you, uh, again, uh, advantage. Oh, that's bad. That's a miss. Don't forget, any creature against a, or any attack against an unconscious creature is automatically a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet. Okay, well, then the first two guys are very, very dead. Uh, so 29 is a crit. Uh, how much, how much damage? Just give me a damage total. Try to figure out what this, uh... So we're using one-handed or two-handed? I'm using one-handed. Okay, so that'd be nine plus... Uh, three. Plus three, twelve. yeah, for critical damage, so 12. So 12 damage to him. He, 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 
there's a there's an exhal ex exhalation of air with a grunt as he's trying like his eyes aren't held and he's he's very mad that he can't break free of this. And then since I see more coming in, I am going to double tap my little uh, clockwork fae fly to wake up oh. as a bonus action. Okay, it is now awake. <coughs> Zari, you're up. Let's see. I am going to attack the guy to the north of me. Okay. Or the south. Sorry. The okay. South. Because need to maintain action economy. Oh, come on. You're thinking about this. No, you go ahead. Go for it. Well, basically, I'm seeing these these particular guys going down faster. Yeah, so. they're, they're, they're definitely groups of these guys who go down much faster than the other ones. Uh, 21 will hit. That'll do it. Down he goes with a th heavy thump to the chest. And the guy to the west of me make a deck save. Guy to the west of you make a deck save. That's left. So dexterity. 11? That fails, so he takes 5 damage. He's 5 And that's my turn. Alright, well... Yeah, mm, mm. And Zari just goes, give up. So, Zari and Elros, you're going to get an attack of opportunity. As that one pulls away. And then, Zari, you would have two, three. You have, you, you can choose the first guy or the second guy who moves away from you, Zari. Second guy. Second guy, all right. And then Elros, you have an attack of opportunity as well. Elros hits with a crit. For 14 damage. I'm going to apply trip to see if I can stop him. Okay, he needs strength saving throw? Yes. 13. That's a fail. So he, he falls. falls down there. Then, uh, do I hit with a 20? Yes, you do. 11 damage. Okay. Don't forget you have charges on your thingy. Yeah, I'm trying to see how to pull those up. Aren't you raging? Oh, 13 damage. Yes. Then it's 13. Yeah, 13 damage. Yep. Uh, how do I pull up the charges thing? Inventory. I'm not 100%. Sure. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. When you hit a medium or smaller creature with the maul, you can expend a charge to force it to make a saving throw. Uh, on a failure. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to expend one of my charges to make the okay. uh, to make the piercing thorns grab it. All right. So what kind of saving throw? A strength saving throw. Twelve. Uh, let's see. I believe that is a failure. I, I believe it should be. Um, on a failure, it takes 1d6 piercing damage and is restrained. All right. So, one piercing damage. So, you guys managed to prevent them from moving away. Uh, since they're not moving away, uh, he's going to spend the rest half of his movement to get up. And then go after you, Elros. So, Scimitar. Oops, yeah, Scimitar. 25 is a crit. Uh, so, that is uh, 8 damage. Second Scimitar was a miss. And Dagger is a 24 to hit. So, 13 total damage, uh, Elros. Um, this guy is restrained. He can still attack, though, I think. So, against... Uh, the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Disadvantage. I don't know how to roll with this. Oh, yeah, I do. Never mind. Disadvantage. Six misses. Yep. Nine, uh, seven misses. 
20 still hits. So hit for five with the dagger. So have two, Zari. Okay. And then Risha, you're up. Uh... The will of her majesty will not go unheard. Mm -hmm. And two more Eldritch Blasts of the guy straight in front of me. Go for it. 13 will miss. 16 will hit. Wow. One damage. One damage. Wow. <laughs> I, I feel you. <laughs> well, it is summer, so the Winter Queen is not at her best. <laughs> Zari says mid rage. <laughs> Four attacks and none land. So yeah, I feel you. <laughs> okay. Um... The marshals are getting a workout today. <laughs> what do I want to do? Oh, right. He had a chance to save again. Uh, wisdom. Eh, five. So, no. No. <sighs> My turn? Yep. Okay. Um, I guess what I want to do is I want to poison spray the dude in front of me. Okay. Is that a cone? No. It's okay. a single. Okay. It's a single target. Go for it. Yeah. Single target can't trip. DC 16 constitution save. Are you kidding me? Well, he failed. He is poisoned. That's the lowest I can roll. <laughs> does he gain the poisoned condition or just no, take damage? No, no it, it just does poison damage. Yeah, it's just it's a just... cantrip. It doesn't do much. So he 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 does he he is poisoned. I mean he 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 definitely definitely un upset him. Well. He's going to be Lumi's problem. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cryo, you're up. After a three-second meditation, <laughs> I will step up to this guy. Yep. And he is restrained, right? Yes, he is restrained. Good. All your attacks have advantage. Yep. Five damage. Okay. Seven damage. Okay. Furry of blows. Sure. Nine damage. <coughs> He's looking real, real hurt. Ah, oh, twelve miss. miss. Um. Uh, let's see. I did a furry of blows. Mm -hmm. Um, he's restrained, so yep. make him fall prone is not a thing, I think. You have to do that as an attack. Like, that's a that's an action in combat. No, no, uh, it's my open hand technique. Oh. So I can make, uh, because I hit with one of the Fury of Blows, ah. I have some options now. Right. So, can I let him fall prone while he is restrained? Yes. You can try to make okay. him fall prone if he's restrained. Then you need to beat a dexterity save of 14. I think I have disadvantage on that because I am restrained. Yes. 15. Ah, got it. And it still beats it. <laughs> um, no, I'll, I'll take a step back again. Let's see. That is my turn. Okay. This guy steps up to here. This guy steps up to here. Um. Well, Zara, you're in the front. Yep. Bring it on. Five. Twelve. Miss, miss. Yep. 
Don't know why there's two sets of rolls for that, but there shouldn't be. Well, whatever, just delete one of them. There we go. All right, so after Bandit is Lumi. Did I delete somebody else I shouldn't have? Mm, nope. Okay, everybody else is still in the list? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yes. Okay. Lumi, you're up. That, that, that guy straight ahead of me looks very warm. I'm, I'm going to try and cool him down. Okay. Looks a little hot-headed. DC 16 con save. Failed. Four cold damage. He 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 feels much cooler now. Uh, my angry friend has a point. You aren't very wise or smart by attacking us. Elros. I was planning on <clears throat> my little clockwork buddy to cast fairy fire, but I'm trying to see where it can land where it won't hit us as well. It's a 20 foot cube. I don't know that there is a space. Nah, not anymore. Yeah. So just. You just have him flying around too. True. Uh, I am just going to swing. At this guy that's still being held. Okay. That's what, this is what turn three he is of his hold. Yep. Uh, so that'll hit. For 15 damage. Uh -huh. 25 will hit. For 14 damage. Isn't it a auto crit if they're on the ground? He's and restrained. No, he's he. It's there are only certain conditions that that's true about. Unconscious. Um, asleep. Basically asleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I thought restrained was one of them. No. Nope. No okay. Restrained. You have speed advantage on zero. Can't rolls. benefit from any bonus to a speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. If the attacker was within five feet of the creature, that's unconscious. I'm, I thought we were paralyzed. Trained. Oh, paralyzed. oh paralyzed. paralyzed. He is paralyzed. Okay. Because of whole person. Incapacitated and can't overspeak. So automatically fail strength and dex. Saves. Yeah. So roll another d8 twice for the two hits then. So two d two d8 more damage. Ten. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Zari. Okay, I'm going to swing with advantage at the guy who has been restrained. Okay. That'll hit. And down he goes. So. And then the guy to the direct, uh, my direct left, uh, makes a deck save. Deck save. Three. Four damage. <clears throat> so, this guy drops his weapons. Uh, seeing this guy go down, drops his weapons and says, all right, I guess he got us. Uh, and this guy's going to try to save again. Wisdom. 13. No. Nope. He's still restrained. All right. Do you let them surrender? Or are you guys just going to murder these people? Do the other two put their weapons down? Yeah. Yeah. Then yes. Uh, Z Zari is willing to take prisoners. Okay. Okay. Are there any more of you? Yes. Start wrapping up the survivors. 
do I do I see any of the other four um, among the among the people here? The the this guy and this guy and now this dead one were are three of the five. Okay. Where are your two friends that came with us from Haifa? They're out hunting. Why did you... How did you know about this place and why did you come here? I... I felt it in a dream. And I knew that I knew that we could find it. Um... Okay, yeah. What do you guys do with all the bodies? Is the is the next question. I think for now we probably tie up the people that surrendered and yep. put them in a room that has only one access and nothing in it, or at least almost nothing in it. Mark a room for me, please. I don't know. I don't see the map. You, you mean you see the parts of the map you can see? Yep. Well, kitchen, no, because that has too many utensil utilities that they can use. Oh, here's a here's a storage closet right here. Just throw them in there. The the how live many, guys. How many over there? Three, uh, four. Uh, four. Four left oh, alive. There's space, space no, there's four. There's five left alive. There's five left oh. alive. Yeah, the guy restrained the two other captains. No, that, that, that one is dead. This guy's dead. Oh, that that one's dead. Okay. Yeah, there's four. So, yeah. I'll drop concentration when the one I've paralyzed is subdued physically. He is physically subdued. And then I guess we first want to search the house. Okay. Make sure there is nobody else here, that they're not lying. Just gonna leave the bodies piled up in this the living room, no, the entertainment room, I guess you'd say. I'll take care of them, I guess. Okay. And I'll watch Shut the door. Me. You guys go exploring. I'm sorry, I walked us straight into a freaking trap. I'm gonna um. While I help sweep the house, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up a detect thoughts so I can find if any intelligent creatures are hiding somewhere we can't easily see. Can you pop it into chat, please? Uh, I heal myself for 11. Anyone else need some healing? Empty. Thank you. Zari does. Um, I'm fine. I could use some light healing. You get 15, Zari. As does Elros. <laughs> much cool it's like i didn't take okay, any damage that fight so i need to make a roll you can uh, take quite a bunch of uh, Elrosh and you dealt uh, some as well all right so ibrakeet mm -hmm. you detect a consciousness here it is surrounding you <laughs> oh, and about 10 minutes after you guys move them around, um, the more generic dudes just vanish into dust. The one guy you recognize is still around. Oh. We need to get out now, if we can. See, then... I told you we should have stabbed first and asked questions later. It's not... So, you read surface thoughts with this. Um, the surface thought that you're getting is that it's noticed that it's detected your thoughts of it, and it's trying to hide the fact that it's thinking, if that makes sense. Okay. It's so, it's trying to think of nothing, but it's. But I can tell in its surface thoughts that it knows that I'm I'm reading its surface thoughts. Right. Great. 
Any particular reason we need to go, Ibrikit? The house is alive. That sounds interesting. I yeah. Speak, I, I, I speak up to the ceiling. We're not here to harm you. We're just looking for information. I say to the house. There's no response? Well. About the, the, the vanishing. Did this vanish into dust? Nothing? Yes. Or dust? Well, it's. I mean, so, they, so they, they find dust that it is nothing. Yes. There's not like piles of sand on the ground anymore or anything. Okay. I... Do I know what could be causing this or what they were? Um, Arcana. <sighs> oh, right. Good idea. It's magical. I'll, I'll use my inspiration and let's see if it. Oh, never mind. Uh, so they were some sort of, like, I guess, phantasm, um, think, think not ghost, but illusion. I, I open the door, we're keeping the other two in, it's like, where'd the other two go? They're hunting. No, where did the two people we, where did the two other people we put in here with you go? What other two people? Uh, insight check. Oh yes, I'll I'll happily be nearby for an insight check on that. They are. Sorry. You think they're serious? They don't know who you're talking about. Okay. Okay, come on, get up. They're going outside. Okay, get them up. Take cool. them outside. They are now outside. Who? The two Them people two. who put in the closet. Why? Because we put four people in here and now there are only two. Why do you think? <laughs> they were phantoms? Yes. And they don't remember those two people ever existing. Who? Who are you and talking about? You, we just We just found this house. You two be quiet. They 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 quiet down after having been beaten savagely. Are you scared of the house? The house just created fake people that tried to attack us. Well, it's probably not the house, but probably and being inside the house somewhere. Or the house is a being. I was detecting thoughts coming from the house itself. Yep. Now that you're not inside the house anymore, it's definitely coming from the direction of the house itself. We're looking here for stuff, right? How long have you two guys been here? Like two days? Three days? They kind of look at each other couple weeks week week and a half range on clairvoyance have we been a week and a half here yeah okay not not here here but yes yeah okay where's the library in this building uh let's see there yeah, i still want to explore the building there's not really a library. There's a bunch of stuff in some of the rooms to the south. A mansion of this size and no library? I mean, oh, we didn't find any books. Not really. The guy who built it was clearly half insane. Well, it let us out. Nico Reacher, please don't punch the house and <laughs> make it angry. It... I'm just gonna explore the house. All right. I, I, I'm not scared. That's what Elros has been doing. So He's just El, 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 Elros, as you're working through this house, um, that there's a bunch of like all these rooms along this side of the wall, uh, bedrooms, small like pallet beds, uh, fairly comfortable place to sleep. Looks like there's an, there's there's bedding for five, like in 
organized ways. Uh, Cryor. The kitchen is fairly well appointed with hunted animals. There is a cold box underneath here to freeze and keep fresh uh, meat for longer. Um, and yeah, this, these these people don't aren't baking bread. They're 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 hunting and, and uh, uh, doing and uh, eating animals. Is that a trapdoor or something? Uh, it's a it's a drain to oh, okay to down below. All right, so. Uh, Elros, in in this room, you find a large yeah, amount of like old furniture, um, old 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 stuff. Uh, none of it with any none of it, none of it with seeming any real value, unless you like chairs. Um, got some lumber here, just kind of general like stuff. But this is you know, 20 years old or more. How much, how much lumber are we talking? Cause I know we needed some, uh, well, uh, do you have the, are trained in woodworking at all? I am wood carver. There you go. Uh, give me your, give me that role. So it'd be that plus dexterity, probably plus proficiency. Trying to see where I roll that at because I'm not seeing that on my character sheet. I know I see it's, it, it, what it's I'm proficient it, in. It's typically not on your character sheet. Yeah, it's sheet. typically you not just... on your character sheet. Just... Typ so would that be uh, like a, a wisdom or a dexterity? Uh, dexterity. So dexterity plus. So dex T20 plus dexterity plus your proficiency modifier. Okay, so that would be 14. Okay. Eight, 3, 2. 3, 2, yep. So thir 13, um, there is enough wood here that you like maybe the rafters to a small house or a few shelving units or, um, there's not a whole lot here. Some. This door to the south is locked. That's interesting. What are you thinking, Cryer? Cryer had to be right B. Oh. Uh. So, Lumi, you find a lot of empty rooms in this direction. Um. Looks like small, storage... small cupboards, larger storage things. Yeah, this is like somebody's pantry that just is empty. That that includes that that stairway thing. Uh, well, if you go down around, it goes it leads into more rooms, and then down into here. There's, uh, like on, on this back wall here, you see some old like barding. And stuff for animals. And this is a stable of some sort or other. Oh, hi, guys. Hello. Oh. Lumi, Zari won't let me punch the house. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you just mar either the house or your weapon or your fist. The house hasn't been affected at all. Risha, your fist hurts a little bit after punching the house. Because, you, you know, you punch something solid. So, something occurs to me. Uh, so I ask Risha, have you ever seen your fence outside of his house? Uh, no. Holy crap. <laughs> I think that house might also be alive. That's fantastic. Yay. This place has a way less creepy vibe than that place does. 
Ew. There's bright and daylight in rooms and... And it let us out and it's just letting people explore inside. Yeah. Well, except for the locked doors. So... You're essentially saying we were inside... <laughs> Uh, there's a, you have a bit of a flashback, Suda, of the last time you were in that house, the smell. Well, we hi, Brio. Essentially inside okay. of... Okay. Okay. Over. Ooh. I'm... Oh. That could have been knowledge that I did not need to know, Ibraki. Okay. That smell was probably rotting meat that it was using illusions to cover up. Uh, but that means he is the house maybe alright so let me just decide to use a locked door what you looking at, uh, at guys a locked door yeah, we got some furniture and some lumber in here. Not very much, but uh, any little bit will help at this point. So, any reason we haven't called the the steel happy rogue to to, to try and open that door? I it's great how minds uh, think opposite sometimes. I was thinking more of the uh, the hammer. <laughs> Risha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Risha is currently, um, well, Risha, throwing rainbows. Um, um, I got um, a thing um, thing to maybe take your mind off of that that thing. Mm -hmm. We got a locked lock door. Who locked doors? <laughs> I like locked doors. <laughs> Be careful! The house might not like it. Oh, I'll just take uh, um, Did did you ever try to push past the uh, initial thoughts, uh, 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 um, Keat? Service thoughts. Um. Yeah, yeah. Once we got outside, I would have tried to. Okay. So it needs uh, to make DC, a save. DC sixteen. Uh, what is my? Yeah, I think so. That is. Uh, success. So your spell ends as it prevents you from from digging deeper into its thoughts. All right. So I don't know what it wants, why it does what it does. I just know that it has thoughts and it can, and it can make illusions inside it. Uh, illusions that are physical. Yeah. Semi-real illusions. Yes. All right, Risha. Semi-real illusions that can be seen by others and then it can modify their memory. So, Risha, after 10, 15 minutes uh, of, like, cursing and swearing and 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 what have you, uh, you are able to open the door. I could swear that the pins kept changing on me. Oh, look, another empty room. So this room is half an inch deep in dust. Like, you guys are obviously the only people who have walked into here. Are the Good. doors locked? If you can just click on them and open them, no. Uh, so, Elros, as you enter this place, inside of this room are a bunch, uh, it's a bunch of preserved food and stored water. You are unsure of the age of this. Uh, you do not recognize any of the markings on it. Lumi, uh, so that door is in fact locked. Um, the stuff in this room is a bunch of, like very old cloth and um like some some really old clothes um that sort of thing uh Risha um in this room you find a a s large stack of like beams and, and other 
strong building supplies. Uh, Elros, much the same. You find similar into that in that room as you open the door. Ooh, okay. Fian. We have firewood. Lumi, that door oh. is locked. And that one is as well. I found three more locked doors, Arisha. Woo! <laughs> These two, and I point to, to, to the ones in the hallway, and, and <coughs> up one in the same side, there's an inner door that, that's locked as well. Okay. Let's get this party started. Someone want, might want to go tell people what we're finding. This is fun. All right. So, so Risha, uh, after a minute or so, this this thing is same difficulty as the one up there. But you think you got you think you got kind of your hand on it, and you are able to unlock this door. Oh, just a pile of stuffing. Uh, hold on. I need to bring up my notes. Uh, do 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 do. Hold on. Haha. -ha! Passive of you don't notice it, but Lumi does. Lumi, there is underneath the pile of random stuff in this room, there is a hatch leading down, a door. Oh hey. Somewhere, somewhere to hide. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Hatch is closed with a bunch of stuff on top. Yeah, it's mm. it's definitely piled in such a way as to hide the existence of said hatch, but not to the point where it's completely covered over. Uh, is it piled in such a way as to allow the use of half the hatch's movement, or is it blocking the hatch? It's, it's blocking the hatch. You're going to have to unpile stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, uh, Risha, I would like another. Hey, sleight of hand. This door, uh, quicker than last time, even. Um, unlocks. Ugh, just another pile of stuff. Uh, much like the last time, Risha, you only see a pile of stuff, and Lumi, you see another hatch in the floor. Interesting. I I. Mosey on over and 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 gently stomp on it to to, to try to get the feeling of its thickness. Uh, it's I pretty heavy wood. I'll run out and run back in to gather the troops. All right, guys, we found some latches. We might need some help to move some boxes, and let's explore some more. Was this door over here unlocked? Nope, that door. This door is also locked. Uh, within moments, Risha, you think you got you think you got the ha handle of this, and you are able to unlock the door. Oh, it's just outside. <laughs> <laughs> just the level of disappointment. That one just goes outside, Elrose. It's boring. <laughs> uh, what what is the great thing I'm seeing up north of me outside? Uh, that is, um, uh, a, there's water there. Uh, looks like possibly flowing water underneath there. Possibly like a well or something. Well, I'm bored again. Call me if you find any more locked doors. I'm going to stay in the fresh air. I've, I've seen two more doors that may be locked. But they don't go through a wall. They go through... Floors. Floor doors. Floor doors. Also called hatches. Yeah, but you call them door. Is that what was in under all that stuff you were talking about? I was busy unlocking another door. All right. So who is all? If you want to unpile stuff, uh, strength. To do so, who's all who's all unpiling? I want to get a sense for how long this is going to take you guys. I'll just stay uh, out here. No, I'll, don't split I'll the party. Be. Let's all go. I'll help Elrose by pointing out the thing that things that are least likely to cause an avalanche. 
Sounds good. I, I have a negative one strength modifier. <laughs> I'm using the help action. All right. Roll me your strength. Uh, with advantage with the help yep. action? Yep. Fourteen. It's it's like half an hour of pile stuff out of the way. Nope, not good enough to clear the space. Pile stuff out of the way. Oh no, it's gonna fall! Grab a hold of it. Shift a little bit. Pile stuff out of the way. It takes about takes about a half an hour. It's by this by this time with with exploring the house and everything else. It's after dark. Oh. <laughs> so me and Ibrahim have been standing out here for a while. Yep. I Do wonder we... if they've been eaten yet. <laughs> no, well, well I mean, Cryer came out and told you guys what's going on, and then came back. Yeah, but that was a few hours ago, right? <laughs> uh, so opening up the opening up the door here, you see a circular staircase leading down but into it's the dark. Late, right? It is evening, yep. Oh, evening. So it's not like midnight. No, no, it's like like oh, 9 p.m. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can go. Uh, I'm waiting for the other party members to join us. Didn't you go get the Brikit and, and, and Zari? Yeah. Where, where'd they go? They're still outside. Oh, well, Lumi's gonna mosey on out. <laughs> Try and explain the situation. Uh, hey guys, um, trap doors sound interesting to you guys? Uh, oh, you haven't been eaten yet. We were we were just betting money on it. Um, uh... I poke I poke Cryer to make sure he's real. <laughs> <laughs> as real as you've ever seen him. Okay. I turn to the other two and say, did you all find any hatches in the floor when you all were looking around? I think we can, if we leave the, the two other people, um, Lumi told me about the stables. Maybe we could hatch them up on the outside of the stables. Yeah, and if their buddies come back and get them, well, well I mean, we can get them later. They're not really that important to me. So yeah, we take them over to the stables and tie them to like a fence post or something. They are restrained. Um, you all, so you cleared off. You cleared off the one side of of the room. Did you? Are, are you all heading down that side? Or are you going to try to clear the other side as well? Lumi would suggest that we. Well, he's not there, but he would have suggested that we we keep the other one blocked just in case it uh, locks something in or something. All right, so down the creepy, not creepy, just dark stairway we go. Can somebody make some light? <laughs> All right, so produce flame. <laughs> So, Lumi, how much how much light do you produce when you produce flame? Uh, twenty each, I think. Yeah, I think it's twenty twenty. No, so like, ten ten. 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 Uh, and Elros, do you have your thing out producing light? I have dark vision. Oh well, then you don't need it. Do you have dark vision? Yes. Vision. Low light vision. How much low light vision do you have? I have. Uh, you can see in dim light within sixty feet of you, as if it were bright light, and in darkness, as if it were dim light. You can't 60. discern color and darkness; only shades of gray. There you go. You now have. I now have given your token dark vision. All right. So we have two closed doors. Oh, these should be. Hold on. Look me. Don't get too hold far. Hold on. Hold on. Don't open the doors yet. I very much don't like being down here. <laughs> Why? Going the deeper house... inside of a living thing that tried to kill us 
All right. So, opening up this door uh, that you went past Elros. I guess it tried to restrain us. So, in this fairly large uh, open space, you have a tall vaulted ceiling, at least ten feet tall. You guys, you guys went down like several circles to go down. Um, and no, light. no, no light, but uh you see in this room as you as you round the corner three large stone statues that look like bugs sort of well that is odd and i step in okay i'm keeping with lumi at the moment okay so so yeah, three three large stone statues. Uh, anybody can give me an Arcana check once you can see them. I can only see one. You still want me to make an Arcana? Yep, that's fine. Stone statues that look like bugs. Yep. Eber keeps like, nope, 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 nope. I'm just saying, trying to see if I can get an angle on seeing the statues without leaving the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see all three. I'm getting up close to inspect this one. It is made of the same stone that the floor beneath you is tiled in, and this vaulted ceiling above you is vaulted. Vaulted in? All right. Arcana with a 24. Eberkeet. This is it. These are life-size statues of Umber Hulks. Okay, what do I know about Umber Hulks? Uh, with a 24, um, they are burrowing mountainous creatures that um, are relatively tough. They have a... If you look at them, they they have a confusion effect. Like they 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 mess with your your ability to stare at them. Um, uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. They can tunnel. Um, they're relatively tough. They have claw and bite attacks. All right. If those things come to life, try not to look directly at them. Elros, give me a perception check as you get close to this thing. It's stone. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Some hmm. of the older hunters talk about these. They're relatively dangerous. Even, even one by itself. Finding anything, Elrose? Nothing as of yet. I see a couple of doors over here, though. I've got a door over here, too. Oh, boy, the initiative just turned back on. Shh, don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're not being attacked by statues of, of, okay. of magic bugs. So, Elros, as you see, there is a spiral staircase that goes up much to the one that you just came down with. You said there are two hatches. This might go up to the other one. That, that appears to be about the possible. right spot. All right. Um, so, Cryor reaches and I see a small door. I would like a wisdom saving throw from you, please. Uh, let's use inspiration for that. Okay. With a twenty-one, you you manage to avoid uh, the you you manage to force the thing that was trying. How do I want to put it? As you step into this little alcove, you feel something affecting your mind, and you are able to you are able to shuffle it off without effect. I'll convey that to the others. Like the alcoves have some magic, I guess. I don't know, but it messed with my mind. <laughs> oh. 
pull out uh, a torch from my backpack and I use Firebolt to light it. Okay, you now emit light. Okay. Uh, torch is what? A torch, 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 torch. It is 20 feet, 20 feet. 20 feet, For 20. one hour. There you go. Um, Ibrahim, as you light this torch, it almost looks like the statue, like the statues are so lifelike in their, in their construction, like the best marble statues, um, they all, like the flickering light makes them look like they're moving. Any luck on the door, Creer, or did you leave that thought behind? I will try to see if it is locked. Okay. Risha. You got a locked door. I like locked doors. But I hope you have a strong mind because <laughs> that alcove does something with your mind. I don't know. Uh, don't tell me. I told you nothing. <laughs> yeah. Elros, wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, much like much like Cryor, uh, you you with a force of will manage to suppress whatever effect. I also communicate. It seems whenever we uh, step into these little corridors, something tries to mess with your head. That oh, door is also locked. I know you haven't been long with us, but we normally stick to a group. <laughs> true, true, but, uh, you know, yeah. these are just statues, and it doesn't seem that bad down here. Weren't those statues against the back wall before? Risha, make a wisdom saving throw, please. So, Risha, as you step into this room, you all see three lances of light beam out to the three statues, and you hear the sound of stone grinding upon stone as they stretch and come alive. Freaking me. I knew it. I would like some initiative, please. Risha, door quick. <sighs> well, that's not going to be quick. <laughs> and nobody is surprised by this, so... Yes, Ibrahim, to answer your question, yes, they had been against the wall, and they are no longer there. Yeah, I say that out loud in character before they start moving visibly. Uh, descending order? Cryer, you're up first. That's way too many fours. That's a whole lot of fours. What kind of door is it? Uh, it is a solid wooden door. How solid? It does not look rotted. It's... Judging by the rest of the doors in this place, probably at least a couple inches thick. It's not banded in metal, though. Good. I'll give it to a text to see if I can break it. Okay. Now we gotta look up damaging doors. Yes. I believe they have a damage threshold of 10. That sounds right. Uh, objects. There we go. Uh, it is f AC 15. Uh, and they are large. <coughs> so it has uh, average of 27 HP. So... Do they, Minus 18. 
so does it do they do do doors have damage thresholds anymore um, i don't think so threshold. big objects such as castle walls often have extra resilience represented by a damage threshold okay so doors so don't. it's up to you but it's usually for like this is a building you can't just stab a building okay so yeah so you do damage to the door you 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 do 17 damage to the door i don't have a good way to mark that so just keep Eight, 18 18 sorry just keep that in mind thunk thunk there's some chips out of the door um i'll make a little bit of room okay so somebody can pick locks and that's it and i yell to the party <laughs> crew pop if you want to survive this lumi oh i'm right out there i'm sure we'll be fine Ibrahim. it's fine yes we are i have a 17 ac right now yes you do did the armor bonus from my obsidian eye go up? Is that why? Yes, it did. Okay. Well, I'm going to start by throwing a guiding bolt at the first, the, the one that's between me and Elros. Uh, when a creature starts its turn within 30 feet, uh, so are you within 30 feet? I think you are. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Um, so you you must choose whether or not to look at it. Um, if you choose to look away, you have disadvantage in any attack rolls. Otherwise, you have to make a save. I did get warned that I should avoid looking at them. Yes, so. correct. <laughs> a 12 will miss. That's uh, about the. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll retreat into the alcove. Okay. Uh, the measuring tool. Oh, t closer. Okay. Um, closer. All right, so uh, on their turn, they go towards the closest enemy. Um, so, oopsie, nope, grabbing tool. Aha! Do, 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 thunk, thunk, yep, thunk. Uh, well, you have to pass through this square to get there. Yes, yeah, so you have an attack of opportunity. All right. Let's give them the knife. You cast stab. <laughs> Give it a knife. Does that uh, twelve hit? Uh, twelve does not. Okay. Um. So, uh, Cryor, uh, he has three attacks, two claws, one mandibles. So, claw Cryor, seventeen to hit. Hits. For eleven slashing. Ouch. Uh, fourteen to hit. Misses. And then, uh, please roll. There it is. Twelve to hit. Misses. All right, Zari. Same, same at you. Three attacks. Nope, that's the wrong thing. That's the right thing. Thirteen. Nope. Twenty-one. Yep. Eight damage, and then twenty-one. Ten damage. And then Elros, 17. Ow. 17 meets. Okay. 12. 24. 12. 26. 13. Ow. Still not a crit. Oh my gosh. And that is their turn. Okay. Are they hey. still made of stone or are they. They look real now. They look real. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Elros, are you are you avoiding the gaze of this thing, or are you looking at it? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm avoiding the gaze. Okay. And am I able to move past it at all? Uh, it is filling this space. It would, it would, uh, you would need to make a 
pretty good dexterity or like a, a acrobatics check. Like it's it is filling this space and it's not gonna want to let you. It's not gonna want to let you pass. Trying to get creative. Um, yep. I have an idea. Go for it. What if... Uh, probably isn't a good idea to go strength versus strength on this thing, but I don't really have another choice. Uh, I want to try to... Yeah, I'm going to try to trip it and see if I can push it backwards. Okay. So I can get out. So, uh, strength check. You going to do this as part of an attack, or are you going to just do this as a... Are you doing this as a part of your superiority thing, or are you just doing this? I was thinking about just doing the uh, superiority die. Okay, so so make your attack with this disadvantage unless you want to meet its confusing gaze. I'll do the first attack like that. Yep. That's not going to hit. 13 will not miss. Will will miss, yes. If I attack it directly, then it means I have to take a saving throw. You st at the start of each turn, you choose. So you've already chosen. Yeah. So I can just attack. I just have to attack with disadvantage. Yeah. That'll hit. And then I'll do a 1d8. Okay. Trying to trip it. Yes. So it got a 19 on its uh, saving throw. So I'm assuming not tripped. No, but, my the DC is 16. Yeah. So, but you do do 13 damage to it. And I have a couple options for my bonus action. I'm just going to do the smart thing, and I am going to use Second Wind to heal a little bit. Okay. Gazari, you're up next. Okay. I know we talked about this over the week, but uh, pulling an item out of my backpack like isn't a... action vial of troll blood and drinking it is a full action or yes, correct correct okay so i'm going to dig into my oh. backpack pull out a vial of troll blood that, and that's your action quaff it that that is another action oh that is another action yes okay so now you have so a, I... you have a tro vial of troll blood someday somewhere handy okay leaving you with bonus action and movement okay so I am going to uh, move this way. I know it's going to trigger opportunity attack, but that's what did control you, blood's for. Did you want to rage? Um, Before that? I think I think yes. Okay, I so think I have to. A 25 to hit. That'll hit. 7 halved to 3. Okay, and I have moved over here, and that is my turn. Okay. Uh, oh wait. Um, uh, as I'm leaving, it gets. Uh, uh, wait, no, I have to hit it, don't I? Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm assuming you were averting your gaze since you aren't actually attacking it. Yep. Okay, Risha, you're up. 
Oh, this is not good. Uh, one second, Risha. Um, I can when I activate my rage. Uh, I can have it. I can have it. Uh, I can have the storm aura activate. So yep. it has to make a deck save. The one I ran away from. Sounds good. A five will fail. Okay. One damage. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Risha. It's all good. Oh. Never said I was the wisest person. Are you averting your gaze from these things or are you are you not? My mind's still on the door. Okay, so yes, you are. <laughs> click, 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 click. Not opening. It's not opening. This is not good. Eberkeet, your turn. Okay. I'm going to do something stupid. Go for it. Um, I would like to try an investigation roll to see through illusion. Go for it. It's intimidation. I need investigation. Correct. So the 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 appearing actualness of these being um Umber Hulks is false. They are they are stone statues. They are covered in the statues are covered in marks and scars as if they have been attacked many, many times by weapons and they are held together by active magical like effects emanating from Risha. Okay, I assume that was an action? Yes. Okay. Um, and I assume I had to look directly at one to get that. Does that... Yes, yeah, so you are... Uh, make a DC 15 charisma saving throw. <laughs> yep. Okay. You save, so you are not affected by, by the confusing gaze. Okay, so then I shout, get Risha back into the center room. Huh, what? Cryer, you're up. Hearing that, I will... Disadvantage, but I have to be on this side, because this one is looking at us, I think. Yes. Yeetus Maximus. Fourteen? We'll miss. And that will miss as well. Yep. You go wait, you're going after the Umber Hulk or are you going after the door? Amber Hulk. Okay, yep, miss miss. And then I'll try to hit it with my uh, let me see that it yeah, I need to a furry of blows for that. 18. We'll hit. For 7. Okay. And it needs to make a strength save and throw. Probably as good at that. 25? Yeah. That doesn't push it back. No. Well, seconds for your blows. 23 will hit. 19. Oh, for 9 damage. Yep, it is, it is, it is damaged. Um, Eberkeet, you can see, like, chunks of stone being knocked off by Cryer's blows. Okay. Does it look damaged to me? No. You can tell you're doing something to it, but it's like solid chitin. Then I like to move. It is away blocking it. your path, so it can't attack you, but it can block you. So you need to make an 
acrobatics. Try to tumble around and through it. Uh, that's Fill not going to make 13. it. Yep. So it is in the way. Then I'll uh, just stay here, I guess. Lumi. Care to elaborate, Ibrikit? She's the source of the illusion. Okay, thank you. Uh, dispel magic on Risha. Uh, you need to make a uh, a spell caster check because it is higher than third level. All right. So with a with a magical spell and a, a, a snipping motion, there are now three statues standing where these three statues are uh, in this room. Are they totally blocking the path? I mean, you can probably squeeze through their legs. Okay, but let's not do that at the moment. <clears throat> so we got two people Did outside that work? The spell effect. They, 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 they look like statues again. So obviously something happened. Elros, your 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 turn. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Another one. Oh boy. And the statues reanimate. All right. So now you now so the statues shut off for a moment, and then now they're active again. Uh, it's your your you still have your full turn. Okay. Uh, you do not need to avert your gaze because the, during the start of your turn they were incapacitated, so the the confusing gaze is gone for that moment. Okay, I'm going to attack the one in front of me. Yep. Quick question: Is yes. my would would it be a thing if my clockwork friend was uh, still flying around? Yeah, it can still be far. It can still be flying around. Okay. Uh, bonus action: fairy fire. Okay. Over. Let me ping it. Over here, so it. Would, he would get hit barely by it. Okay. Uh, dexterity save. I believe. So. Let me see. I actually don't have it on my character sheet. I don't think. Uh, dexterity Maybe saving throw. Seventeen. I'm pretty sure that beats what the Clockwork Fairy can do. Yes, it does. Okay. So it is not illuminated. I'm going to try the attack route one more time. Okay. To try to trip it. I got one superiority die left. Uh, miss. That'll be a miss. That's also a miss. Holy shit. That is also a miss. <laughs> Two twos. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Zari, you're up. Well, since these things are animated again, yep. I am... I am going to... Are you averting your gaze? Um, actually, first I'm going to quaff that potion. So Go for I'm it. I'm not going to do anything this this round. Um, Heal from Troll's Blood. Yep. It's so... nasty tasting. It coats the inside of your teeth. Tastes like, tastes like steel. Okay, so... I've done that. Yep. Um, and then let's see. Bonus action. Uh, zap the one in front of me. Okay. Uh, your rage would end at the end of this turn since you're not attacking, right? Uh, wouldn't the stormora be an attack? Yeah, I'll give that to you. All right, go for it. Uh, he needs to make a deck save. 19. Yeah. Okay, so he saves. 
Minus one. Okay. And now I heal 1d4. Yep. And then, Risha, you're up. Okay. This is... Don't look, don't look, don't look. Click. Yay! Oops. <laughs> Door opens. It's a very narrow hallway. Lumi. <coughs> and that's my turn. All right. Eberkeet, you're up. You can now see that the 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 magical tether is tethered to Elros instead of to Risha. <coughs> Oh, for God's sake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I have... I had others. Okay. Um... What is the range on that? 120... Yeah, I can, I can just barely see Elros, and he's within range. So yep. I'm going to cast a spell magic on him. Okay. Uh, you need to cat uh use a uh, arc intelligence roll. Right, Arcana, whatever it is, spell casting check. It's just, just intelligence, just your ability ah. score. That will be good enough, and the things stop being animated again. Okay, that's my last third level slot. <coughs> um, with both sides suppressed, we are currently out of initiative. So, uh, it's after four, so I think we will go ahead and leave it there. So, now there are three large statues in, in this room spread out, blocking hallways. Um, Risha's just unlocked a door to the left, and Elros is got beat up by a thing to the right and is blocked over there. Cryor and Lumi are with Risha. Eberkeet and Zarya are inside of the room. We will be back again next week to figure out where this goes from here. I Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. I hope to see you all then. Thank you, everybody, for watching. It has been great having you here. Bye. Bye.